welcome. This is Sahara. I'm sorry. This is Sahara playing Pillars of Eternity, and I think what I'm going to do, instead of exploring the rest of this town at this point in time, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, are we in fast mode? So I don't think, no, now we are. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do that one quest, looking for the cook. That way I don't get so sidetracked with so many different side quests that you get lose track of him, of what's going on. Uh, let's see here. And we also have... Um, now that we have Aloth or Alo Al Aloth, whatever, our wizard with us, I think maybe I'm going to go try that um, bear, too. All right. Oh, so we can go back there if we want. Okay, so let's go back to Valwood. Take eight hours. I don't know if that makes any difference, all this traveling back and forth. Other than maybe when we get to certain stuff, maybe we will. I don't know. Okay, so I'm, because I'm pretty sure this up here is what we were looking for. Yeah, okay. Nothing there, because we'd already taken it. Yeah. The crate is still flattened. Okay, the brass Got is still it. flattened. So is this whose body we found over here, maybe? Oh, didn't I get this last time? I guess I didn't. Maybe I'm in the wrong direction. I was assuming it was his wagon over here. Let me look at my journal and see. Um, oh, moments gilded. Late for dinner. Uh, fine. Much like the rest of the town, Gildavell has been here for days. Um, the innkeeper has suggested he might have come, come to harm on the road to the to the Bellwood and is seeking aid and seeing the chef safely return. Yeah, so I'm in Bellwood and I didn't... So this has got to be him, right? No quest markers here other than the bear cave. This just takes me back there. Hmm. I could have swore I picked this stuff up before. Maybe it, um, maybe these things regenerate. Which would be kind of neat for if you're um, having to harvest for stuff. Maybe his body's in here. Maybe the bear got him. Because that makes sense with all the um, with the the cart being turned over and everything being strewn out on the ground. That kind of makes sense. But there were also wolves here too. Hmm. Let's go inside and see what we can find. We also know that Pearly got killed in here. All right, this is where the bear is at. Okay, we got a bear. Now, what do you have that we can do? You have to be within a certain range. Okay. Yes. Okay, is he within certain range now? I believe he, he believe he is. Is this a cone of fire? Oh, I wonder if this is friendly fire on it. Um. Oop. This is dazzling light, ghost blade. Okay, so I need to get him up closer. Oop, 
better than what I wanted. I wanted this. Okay, here again, she got knocked down. And this is what? What does this do? Um, speed fast, second wind, cone of fire. Oops, let's get rid of this stuff here. Like, that? He's dead too now. <laughs> um. Okay. How much damage does the bear? The bear is barely injured. Wow. Am I gonna get up? We have a wrenched shoulder. Yep. <laughs> okay. The party has died. Okay. So, noob, noob. Either that or I don't know what the hell I'm doing, which is probably the case. This bear is tougher than I thought it would be. Alright, so back to town sure. we go. Okay. So let's see if we can find that old woman on the tree. Oh, is that her? I know we need to talk to Urgent again. Where are you at? You're right here. Urgent? I have received confirmation that Lord Radric's heir was not born well. My lord has issued an injunction on all new homesteads until he can be assured that the village has been cleansed of all Aeothasians and whatever other undesirables that have brought this curse upon his lands. Okay. It would be best if you left town as soon as possible. I would suggest returning to your old home. There will be no place for you here. You may stay at the inn until you can make the necessary arrangements, but I would not advise remaining long. I expect Lord Radric will be most thorough in his efforts to purify this place. Um... Well, tell me about, hmm. Tell me more about Lord Ra Radiac. He comes from a line of nobles who have defended these lands since Adria times. Rhetoric II was an early supporter of Dyer Wooden independence during the revolution and the current Lord's father persisted in the Saints' War. Hollowborn began appearing in the Dyer Wood shortly after the war's end. Lord Raderick has taken it upon himself to purge the curse from Gilded Vale. His measures have been severe but necessary. Unfortunately, it doesn't appear to have been enough to protect his heir. The Saints' War? Our age's most egregious example of man's madness. Fifteen years ago, the people of Raderixia oh, decided that Wald Waldwin, their living saint, was the literal incarnation of the god... Ethelus, Urgent wrinkles his pinched nose. This supposed saint took it upon himself to liberate the direwood, supposedly from allegations, from allegiances to less worthy gods, but I've never known an army to conquer a land for its people's own good. The war lasted about a year, but you can guess what that year did to the worship of Ethos in the direwood. Lord Raderick's forebears had all been Ethos Eothasians, but after his father fell, defending us from those 
fanatics, he personally saw that the Temple of Ethos here in town was shut down. He points out a few ruined walls near the tree. If you hear any, uh, if you have any more questions, okay. So this is outrageous. I came a long way. Then you should have no problem continuing on. Trust me, when I say it would be best if you were not here when Lord Rhetoric's men are dispatched from his hold, they will be looking for anyone who might have brought the legacy upon us, whose very presence might have polluted the wife's womb. They will extinguish all possibilities. Hmm. <coughs> okay. Not a nice place. So what is this? Um, we have an elder. Can we talk to you? Were you looking for someone in that tree? Uh, I could introduce you. Um, strange way to talk about your dad. He looks up at the tree and breathes on. And breathes out. Half the town's up there now, seems like. Or, <coughs> no right way to talk about it. <coughs> yeah, these people are a little crazy. I'm looking for someone who can help me feel better. He gives an understanding nod as he looks, takes a long drag from his pipe. My condolences. He excels and turns his attention away, watching the village around him. Well, that didn't help me with my problem. Scattered between the roots are bracelets of twine and bead, wilting flowers, and more half and ma and notes half erased by the rain. Okay, so is this who I'm supposed to talk go to? The squat, distended body of an elderly dwarf woman dangles from a thin, crooked bough that sags at the tug of her noose. The bloated purple flesh of her neck, worn away in patches like moth-eaten linen, bulges over the rope that suspends her and her lifeless head lows forward rigidly from one side to the other when the breeze shifts. Oh, very descriptive and very icky. You perceive a faint glow around her that casts no light on its surroundings, but there is a tippet warmth to it, and you feel somehow that you could reach out and touch it, not with your hands, but with some aspect of yourself that has no worldly distinction. Reach out for the woman. You take a deep breath, clearing your mind, focusing on your objective. As you exhale, you feel yourself spreading out toward the hanging woman, perceiving all that lies between you and her with new, unfamiliar awareness. Was I supposed to... <coughs> Was I supposed to do this first before I touched the souls of all these other people? Hmm. Once you have expanded enough to reach her, there is a sudden jolt to your mind, a ringing electric surge of images and words and sounds. Involuntarily, you shut your eyes and feel yourself being pulled down to some deeper consciousness in a space occupied only by you and the hanging woman. And when you open them again, she is staring at you with eyes clouded in a milky fog, her body still swaying in a wind you no longer feel from a tree that stands planted in a misty world, in a misty void. The woman gives a slow nod of her head, the rope creaking, the rope creaking as she does so, and she smiles at you. Oh, that would have to be a gassy smile. Have, have you, come, you come here for me, dear, or have you gotten lost? Ah, uh, it is both, I think. Yes? Okay. Um... Am I imagining this? No, I think not. A pity that. It would be simpler. A mercy, even. Do not have to wander anymore, no? Alas, we are here, you and I. Wherever here may be. How are you able to speak to me? Is that what we're doing? Perhaps it just seems that way. Perhaps it is the easiest way for your mind to make sense of it. I think it is a very good choice. Um, I need to understand something that's happened to me. She nods, a look of pity on her face as though consoling a child. The world looks a little different than it used to, is that it? Feels like you're noticing things for the first time that have always been there. She nods. You have seen past the shroud. It only takes an instant. Your soul remembers, yes? Remembers how it sees when it leaves the body, like being reminded of a dream you had forgotten. 
You are a watcher now, and the watcher you will stay. A watcher? What's a watcher? What indeed? Long hours have many animancers spent studying such things. Not I, though. Not I. I'll tell you what I know, though, since fair is fair. And here we are, visiting you and I. And it reminds me of better times. I would imagine. Souls pass on. Some say through Audra stones, which are the blood veins of the world. They leave the world for a time and are reborn into it. Sometimes more than they were before. But usually less and seldom the same. For all souls, there is a time where they do not live, yet have not passed on. And those souls roam the world, same as you or I, either leaving or lost. But no one sees them because they have forgotten how. So some also there is a time when they do not live, yet have not passed on, and those souls roam the world. Okay. A watcher sees, though, knows what to look for. And sometimes they know a person just by looking at them. Know where they've been in ages past when their bodies were other bodies. See memories even their owner can't recall. A wonder to behold when all goes well. A wonder. Oh, so those lives that we're seeing on those people that we've touched, it isn't their present life, their past lives from previous souls. Okay. What did you mean when all goes well? Oh, nothing to be afraid of, I'm sure. It's just much to take in for some. Sometimes there's trouble sleeping or other difficulties. She smiles at you reassuringly, fanning out a tuft of long whiskers that sprouts from one of her cheeks. <clears throat> You should see old Meerwald. He could tell you much more than I. A watcher just like you. Helped many in his day. Took up in an old keep no one would claim. Not far, not far. Kadnua, beyond the Black Meadow. He will welcome the company. I think I survived to be a wife. Do you know why that would be? Did you now, dear? My, that would be something, wouldn't it? Could be luck, could certainly be. A storm can be a careless thing. Or maybe it got its hands around your soul but couldn't pick it up. A soul can be heavy if it stayed in one piece through its time. Strong souls, we call them in the trade. Called, I mean. Called them. Those days are all behind me, no? Hmm. I s um, you said souls break apart over time? Oh, yes. Entropy. Rima Gan's work. We know little of why or how. We lose pieces of ourselves when we die and pick up pieces of others when we are born again. But less than what we lost. We tried to stop it with the animantic sciences, but with little success. No, no. Okay. A very small few resist Rimergan's influence and stay together through some force of defiance, at least for a time. But they all succumb eventually, I think. So... Can I know something about you? Me? <laughs> I'll bore you to tears, though. So who are you? And here I thought you'd come to visit me in particular. Caldara de Baranzi of the Valian Royal Academy of Animantic Sciences. Not the greatest of their number, but I came here all the same because this was where help was needed. And what happened to you? She laughs, a rasping, choked cackle escaping between rolls of buttery yellow teeth causing her body to bob up and down with each spasm. Seeing your blank expression, she catches herself. <laughs> oh, come 
now. Such a question. As though the answer were plain as a rope tied for strangling. Allow an old dwarf her last bit of cheer. <laughs> Well, I came where I was needed, didn't I? Offered my services to Lord Radric for a pittance. A humble pittance. I was to examine the Lord's wife. See why the gods have seen fit to poison her womb. Studied her for months. Looked high and low for impurities. Tested her violence. The permeability of her essence. Do you know what I found? Tell me. Nothing at all. A healthy woman, head to toe, blessed with a beautiful soul. Such a sweet woman, too. Meek, but warm-hearted. A few months' time, and the lord of the house demanded answers. For a time, I told him what he wanted to hear. Oh, yes, my lord. She is riddled with imbalances. I must have time to cure her. As the birth drew near, he grew impatient, as lords do. And this is where I've ended up. Hmm. So what's an animancer? A student of the soul. Something so basic, yet so poorly understood. But so many breakthroughs have been made in my lifetime. Had been made. Had been. To hear the locals tell it, we're a gang of soul manglers that preys upon the weak-minded. And the worst of us are. Okay. But the best of us? The best? Inspirations. Miracle workers. My parents were soul twins. Miserable before they met. Empty inside. It was an animancer who helped one find the other. Turned their lives around. You wouldn't believe the stories. Amnesiacs helped to remember their lives. The suicidal brought back from the brink of oblivion. The elderly afforded extra moments to say their goodbyes. How soon we forget when we're afraid. It's a fascinating science. A fascinating time to be alive in a place like Deerwood that does not control the research, no? I love the Valian Republics for many things, but their recent caution will leave them behind, I fear. Um, I had other questions? Of course, dear. Nope, I'm done. Hmm. Farewell. Goodbye, my dear. It was lovely visiting. She closes her eyes and her head slumps forward over the noose and your surroundings seem to blend into your vision from some unknown place of waiting. Corinne has gra granted Crucible of the Soul. Has gained Crucible of the Soul. Aloth looks at you through narrowed eyes. Are you alright? You seemed lost just now. So we've gained 900 for experience. Um, oh, we do get quest experience, 1400. This happens a lot. You'll have to get used to it. Well, it turns out I'm a watcher. His arched eyebrows recede into his, ho ho his hood. Well, that is interesting. He gives you a sly grin. And I expect that explains how you survived to be a wick, hmm? In any case... I appreciate your honesty. Since we're traveling together, it's probably wise for us to share these things. Do you know anything about Watchers? Only that they're rare and that they seem to have unique insights into certain soul conditions. He coughs, as you just demonstrated. Let's go on. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, uh, no, it's the south... East of Gilded Vale, past the Black Meadow. I will have to travel there if I am to speak with, oh my god, these names. Um, after surviving explosion, I am now, I have a word now for what I have become, a watcher. It seems that if I am to learn more about this affliction, I must seek out a man in the old keep of wherever. Hmm. Oh, we did level up, didn't we? Cool. So now I am a level 3 rogue. 
I have six points. Okay. I do need survival. And I do need more stealth if I'm going to be stealthy. And that's something I did not engage with my stealth. Um, athletics. <coughs> Is that all of them? I think I need to do my mechanics. Yeah, because my mechanics is opening traps and locks, so... But... Um, still... Wow, um, survival is received healing multiplier. <clears throat> I think I need that, whatever that is. Do I need at least one more? I don't know, I'll hold that. And then we can do, I already have blinding strike, right? Reckless Assault causes the rogue to dive into battle without a second thought, lowering his or her deflection, but increasing accuracy and weapon damage. Thought I had Blinding Strike. A dirty attack that makes the opponent unable to see, unable to see, inflicts extra damage and blinds the target. Ooh, I like that. That's one per encounter. Escape. Allows the rogue to break engagement and expertly avoid the next attack, diving out of range to a specific location and granting a temporary defense bonus. Or dirty fighting. This is passive. The rogue employs a variety of underhanded tactics, turning some of their hits into critic. I think I like that one. Yeah, because it's passive. It's something I don't have to think about. All right. And then let's level him up. <clears throat> I'm sure I'm doing these all wrong. <laughs> lure, we know he needs lure. Um, probably... Um... I don't know if he needs stealth. Athletic score increases the effect of second win, conversations, and scripted intentions. These for physical feats like climbing, swimming, and jumping. Um, or survival. We better do the survival. We'll just do it under survival. <clears throat> and I got one left. We'll put it under stealth. Just for shits and giggles. Um, spells. <clears throat> you want spectacle? Do we have any that are passive? Let's just go through that. I doubt if there are any of them we passive. Usually with spells, they wouldn't be. Look at them all. Rolling flame. Um, creates a rebounding... Ball of fire inflicting burn damage upon anyone in his path. Anyone. So I would assume it's burning. I would assume it's friendly fire. Doesn't say. Hmm. Ray of fire. Um. Creates a scorching ray of flame between the caster and the target, inflicting a continual burn damage to the target and anyone caught in the ray. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, creates a lance of pure necrotic energy causing corrode damage instantly and over time. Mirrored image creates duplicates of the caster to distract 
enemies, gaining the high deflection bonus, which is reduced with each hit taken. Well, that's kind of different. Um, Misma of Dull Minus. A cloud of heavy fog settles on the minds of those in the areas of effect during dulling senses and, and wills, inflicts penalties to perception, intellect, and resolve. Hmm. Merciless gaze. The caster becomes the caster becomes able to see an enemy's weakness and vulnerabilities as though they were physically tangible, increasing the chance of landing a critical hit. Uh, infuses the caster with vitality, giving them a temporary increase to maximum endurance and health. This is just for the caster. Too bad he doesn't have any healing. That would be really... That's what I was hoping that would be. Uh, Bitted caress. The target becomes paralyzed, afflicted with boiling pest pestilence of foul-smelling liquid that erupts from their skin, sickening those nearby. <coughs> Yeah, I don't know if these have friendly fire. I have a feeling they do. Curse of blackened sight shrouds the target's vision in total darkness, blinding them. Um, corrosive siphon eats away the target's spirit, inflicting corrosive damage and converting that essence into endurance for the caster. Oh. Hmm. Combustion wounds causes enemy wounds in the area of, of effect to ignite, inflicting additional burn damage over time each time they are wounded. Hmm. Um. All work against the elements creates a mystical shield around the caster, sufficing them with bonuses to burn, freeze, corrode, and shock. Burn. Wizards have access to a variety of offensive and personal defense spells. Unlike priests and druids, wizards learn individual spells that they store in and cast directly from the grimoires. Grimoires can only be can only hold four spells of each four spells of each spell level, which motivates wizards to keep multiple grimoires for different needs. Every two levels, wizards gain access to an additional set of spells. However, they can automatically learn one spell. On any level, they can they ha they can access each time they advance. Wizards also have the option of learning spells from grimoires they find or buy. Initially, their spells can be cast a limited number of times per rest. As wizards gain power, their weaker spells eventually shift to per encounter use. So, burning web. Um, spins a resolutely vicious web throughout the area of effect, leaving unfortunate victims stuck inside. Bewildering spectacle. Um, creates a bizarre and perplexing visual distraction, confusing enemies in the area. So if I click on one, Thrust of tattered bells, a quick strike, a crushing force dealing little damage but having a high chance to disrupt enemy spellcasters. Okay, we already know some of this. Um, wow, what do I want to do? I think I want to do the ray of fire. Creates a scorching ray of flame between the caster and the target, inflicting continual burn damage to the target anyone caught in the way. So he would have to be off to the side. Okay. Okay. So if I go to the grimoire now. Yes. So he has level one and level two. Um, Fan of Flames is supposed to be over 
No. I thought it was... Did he already learn it? Okay. Maybe he didn't. Um, I thought it was supposed to be a level two. Um, does it say on here? I thought I got, I thought I, he learned one of them. But it's not showing up here. Hmm. Arcane assault. Okay. Sure. That's, that's odd. I don't know. Um, that got me a little confused. Wait a minute, we hadn't finished over here yet, looking around. Seventeen and a half. What does that mean? I think we were over here. Yes, we were. Okay, so we need to get this. Yeah, the stairs going down. Oh, he's got a name on him. <coughs> Reach for Opera the Soul. You see a pendant waving tall and sluggish in the wind, a rising sun embroidered on the banner, the vanguard of a small troop of paladins. The atmosphere is buoyant, if restrained, and their armor has not yet been tarnished by the elements. This expedition is fresh, young, filled with zest and zeal. At their head stands a commander, awkward in full armor, but determined, but determined in step, despite the excitement of his followers. Of his, I'm sorry. Despite the, the excitement of his fellows, he does not smile. There is a twist to his mouth, his countenance grim. He throws up a hand. Holding his troop, silence falls among, the, among them, revealing a dark thunder, deep and low. He orders them to ready their weapons and spread out. Eyes dart from horizon to horizon, next twisting to see the source of the sound. In the distance, dust and lightning rise from the ground as stigna, stigan clouds race towards them overhead. The soldiers stand only... The soldiers stand, only the staccato movement of their breath betraying their nerves. The commander closes his eyes, calling a blessing down on the troops. Invigorated, invincible, invincible, they wait as the enemy draws closer, poised to attack. Okay. How come your face is so strange? Yeah, that would be something a child would say, wouldn't it? So we go down here and see what's going on? We can have enemies down here. Um, well, there's someone sitting down here. A rising sun and the three dawn stars, a symbol of Othos, Ethos. A man lies resting against the wall, hit, lit by the dim illumination of the fading sconces. He has a gaunt, box-like aspect, and his face is pale and damp with sweat. One arm is held loosely against his side, sleeves soaked with blood. He gives you an anxious glance as you near, his features twisted with pain. Greetings. Oh, he's a godlike. Ha, huh, thought you were some... Never mind. Whoever you are, you've traveled a long way to reach a dark place. Well, you're a god like, like me. Can I? No, I can't zero in on you. This temple isn't what it used to be, probably for the best, times being as they are. He groans and shifts position, wincing. I'm no looter, if that's what you're thinking. Not one of the fancy foe either. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Just wanted to do some good, I suppose. Got my arm clawed up for it. He regards you wearily. 
maybe you'd have better luck. So what happened to you? I was trying to avoid the spiders. He breathed a quiet laugh. Ran into a, sc a scuddler. Might have gone a little better for me if the beast hadn't knocked the sword right out of my hand. Good blade, too. Probably still lying there in the dust. He smiles weir wearily. But I'm not, so that's all right. Hmm, they used the worst twice. It's not a bad one, I think. It just hurts. Hmm, what are you doing down here? The man points a figure upwards. These ruins around us used to be a temple of Ethos, the scattered, uh, the scattered god, a grand temple at that. His worshippers would come from all over the Dera Wood, from, from Rhetoris's even. Until the war, of course. Even then, you'd get some of the stubborn ones, the ones that couldn't give it, get it through their heads that their god was dead and gone. <clears throat> Lord Roderick allowed them to worship? Lord Roderick would clear out the place from time to time, make arrests. It wasn't until the legacy that he started uh, losing patience. You mean stringing people up. He sent his guards in to put the priest to the sword, bring the place down, bur burn some of the books, and that was that. He looks away. I know what the legacy... <coughs> Go on. Once the legacy started, Lord Rhetoric decided he'd been too lenient on the Etho Eothesians. He had his people go in and put them to the sword, let them down, let them down, let them down, left them down in, left them down there, buried under a heap of rock. Okay, I can't read today. After that, Rhetoric ordered the temple sealed. It's been years like that. Up until recently, Lord Raderick's hopes that if we redirect the temple to a living God, rededicate the temple to a living God, then we'll be forgiven, and the legacy will end, see? He smiles wirely. But until then, the temple is as you see it, unguarded. That's where you come in. Ririum licks his lips. Those priests, maybe they didn't have a lick of sense between them, but they still didn't deserve to go like that chopped down in their gods' house. It doesn't seem right to me. No, it doesn't sit right with me either. If you go, if you can get down there, find the remains. Maybe we can finally give them a proper burial. He breathes out. No small task. There's coin in it for you if you need motivating. A lost Kasha's expression softens. A present supplies to see that someone around here has a shred of respect for the dead. I take it that you weren't supposed to be in here. He laughs bleakly. Well, I meant to be in and out, nice and quick. I'm not hurting anyone. It's just Lord Raderick's forbidden anyone have anything to do with the sacred, with the scattered gods. It'd be a little harder to explain to him than, than you. It's a good sense. It's a good cause, though, isn't it? And you could make some coin in the process. Wait, you want me to bring you some skeletons? I'd bury them where they are if I could. I know it's a little macabre, but if you don't get them out now, Macabre, but if we if we don't get them out, Rhetoric's liable to destroy whatever's left of them. Hmm. They're long dead. What does it matter where they're buried? It It's about respect, isn't it? About deserving to be remembered, not just tossed under a pile of rock and forgotten. He breathes out shakily. I thought it worth the effort giving them given that to them. I have some questions first. Why can't you do this yourself? Um, well, I tried. Only got a short ways in before I got in over my head. He grimaces. I haven't raised a blade in a long time. Turns out it isn't something you can just pick up again. But you look like you can handle yourself. And who are you, anyway? He offers you a weak grin. Name's... Wyron? I've lived in Gilded Bell long enough to remember how grand it used to be. He shrugs and looks away. I need to help the temple sometimes. Bring supplies, that's all. I used to help the temple sometimes. Bring supplies, that's all. Won't Lord Raderick mind us digging around down here? 
I wouldn't go telling him about it, lingering in these places. It's not good for anyone, but you do this quick and quiet, and we can do right by those priests without raising the fuss. Hmm. Any chance there's something down there worth a little more than some old bones? He looks around. Probably nobody's been through the place since it was sealed up. Well, apart from me, and I didn't touch anything. Any valuables in there, you can... You get first crack at them. I only ask that you do this favor for me while we're while you're at it. Hmm. There's I no more questions. Then what do you say? I'll find them. Then by the flame I owe you a good turn. But listen, the temple's been sealed off for so long it's crawling with creatures. But if you get past them, the priests would have been down on the lower floor. They'll be there still if they're anywhere. Those priests had all kinds of secret chambers, switches in the walls, trick sconces, that kind of thing. Keep an eye out and uh, take care down there. I wouldn't want to have to send someone else after your remains. <laughs> he looks up at the stairs. You might talk to the elder fellow. If Rhetoric hasn't hanged him yet, word is he's a follower of the dead god. Maybe he'll know something more about this place. He's usually out by the smithy. I'll wait here by the stairs and keep a lookout. Maybe try to patch myself up some. Okay. Hmm, buried secrets. Inside the temple, I encountered a man. We can... At the temple is full of secret compartments. Yeah, I think I'll go up and talk to the elder first before I venture anywhere. Because he's right over here, or he was anyway. Next to the smithy, he said. I haven't found the smithy yet. Where is the smithy? Black Oh, there it is. Black Hammer Smithy. Okay. But I thought the Elder was over here. Or he was. He's not now, so maybe he did move. But well, we need to get to the Smithy anyway. Is that the Elder? Or did I just go right by him? No, nope, that's somebody else. Okay. Anything over here I can click on? Gather? Villager? Villager? Uh, these are just other people with names. Do I want to go into their lives? You know, we're supposed to click on people. If all I'm getting is a... Um, come on. No, I'm going to step back. I don't want to read them right now. They're, maybe it might come out for something down the road. All right, let's go into the smithy. I assume that's what this is. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Oh, that's, and it says right on there, stealing. Okay, so we don't want to do that. Got a customer. Stealing? Nope. Nope. I imagine this will all be stealing. Dented and dull, these swords look ready for the forge. Got a commoner here. You hear those bells? Guess it's bad news. It usually is. It's a guard. That shifty little Orlin better watch himself. Ooh, there's an apprentice over here. If you want to buy something, is Tirana you should speak to? The bells sigh into the furnace and the coals burn brightly. Oh, I can take this. Oh, sorry, I didn't. Did I take it? Yes, I did. It's because they're journals. I can take the journals. Okay. Um. Oh, there's another one. Imagine you'd be the same way. <clears throat> oh, we got some scrolls here. An account of his cells. The pages are nearly empty. Well, that's not good. This, ah. Uh, 
Ama U man, and which is he's the same as I am. The Am um, the Amanu man is of an impressive build, towering above the countertop. His skin is the dusky blue of the deeper oceans, and his thick arms boast corded muscle, small ears frame a square jawed face coated in smeared suit and arcing black tattoos alike. He offers you a broad smile as you approach. Welcome. You're the first new face I've seen in quite some time. What can I do for you? Is this your shop? That it is. Been here, been here near on 20 years now. Seen all manner of things over the years. Good luck and bad. He glances at the guard standing watch along the wall. But the black hammer smithy remains. What do you have here? You come to us at a strange time, I'm afraid. The stock's got what it used to be. The stock's not what it used to be. What we... But we find weapons and armor to offer yet, all forged right here at the Black Hammer. So what happened? We just don't have the supplies. Been expecting the next delivery for near on a week now and haven't seen a sign of it. Have to have to expect they were hit by bandits. The road out east is crawling with them. Or my workers ran off with the wagon themselves, maybe, to make some coin. He snorts, as if that would as if that lot would dare. Hmm. He's right about the bannons. The dire situations in villages like this and the exodus to the cities has created far too many opportunities for unscrupulous sorts. He scratches his jaw thinking, if you happen to be headed that way, maybe you can keep an eye out for a supply wagon or my, my shipment at least. They'd be cutting through the black meadow, I expect. Any good road, only, go only good road for it. As it is most of our wagons go to his grace, Lord Raderick. He glances at the nearby guard, and that's as it should be. But it doesn't leave much for outsiders. We just don't have that. We just don't have the iron. Mm. Where was the wagon traveling from? We send the wagon up to New Pimar with weapons, and it swings around through Log Home and the like to purchase supplies. Shortest route back is through the Black Meadow, and then north through the wilds. He shakes his head. Had a trader come through with word that they'd made it to log home, but haven't heard a thing since. Well, I'll find your supplies. He nods. Then you have my thanks. You bring those supplies back and I'll have plenty more to offer you. A discount to start. Oh, and if you find my workers, tell them to hurry it up or they can take my or they can take up farming instead. Okay, so I got myself another quest. I'm going to the black metals anyway. Greetings. Uh, I'd like to see your wares. Of course. I don't have any money. But I got some stuff I can sell. Uh, what is this? Is this just... Oh, minor robe of protection. I forgot to put that on him. Right? Or did he not need it? Um, That's my pet. Duelist hat we're keeping. Scroll of Tanglefoot. Okay, I think male armor. Well, that's what I have equipped. Uh, rapier. Oh, I have padded armor equipped. I thought I had male armor equipped. Unless, all right. Let me get my situate my stuff situated here. Can we sell these books, or we're just going to put them in? I think we'll just put them away. Um, I can sell them, but do I want to sell them? Um... I feel like, have a feeling we're going to be picking up more of these along the way anyway. Oop. Uh, daggers. We got several daggers.
keep those. Where's all the the skins and everything? I suppose they, they're collecting in here. Okay. And let's do here. Does he do the... Okay, because he... The lure. Scroll of Tanglewood. Ground. Requires two lore. Area of effect. Rapidly grows a patch of twisted vines that surround and entangle anyone unlucky enough to get caught inside. Doesn't he already have that? It won't let him learn it. Does he already have it? Is that why? Why? No, he doesn't. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't understand that then. But anyway, I was looking for his cloak. What does he have? He has got a cape. Capes are popular. Oh, this is better for him because it's got fortitude. Okay, so yeah, let's give him the cape. Then we can sell that. Okay. My shot. Oh. Gods keep you. Uh, I'd like to see your wares. All right, so we're selling. Tulis hat we're going to keep. Oh, I need to put that in my, um... Do we need all these torches? How long do they last? Hmm. And I get rid of his cloak, his cape. All right, that gives me 671. I don't think he probably has much of anything, but we will see. Rope and grippling hook. Uh, keep it with... No, I didn't want that. I'm on... I wanted to... Defense with disengaging. Withdrawal. Oh, we got rings of protection here. Um... Burning belt, waist. This belt is comprised of several layers of leather bound around small round pieces of metal. The resulting effect is not unlike through the belt's sturdiness. Okay, so how much is this? Oh, I can't afford it. Of course not. Um, oh, we got camping supplies, so. Let's start at the top. Okay, so we need Elle's lance. Jen's lance. I'm sorry, Jen is lance. Two-handed. She's not two-handed. Um, ooh, this is a different stilato. Interrupt. Compare. Doesn't do as much damage. Oh, but it's got other stuff. Um, there were a black trees brought... Deeply troubled by the use of the elements to turn nature against the people. I wondered if he was seeing the last days of his people. He took the walking. Cool. So, Grant's joining touch? Jolting touch. Can be enchanted. It was got three enchantments on it already. That's why it's so expensive. Um, interrupt damage, pierce damage. Oh, I've got the wrong... 
she is the one that I needed to get done. All right, there we go, rapier. But she also has a stilato. Mm, 10 to 14. It's gonna be too much for me to afford it. Oh yeah. Um something to come back for later, maybe? Quarter step. Two-handed. Susceptibly simple quarter staff can be very powerful weapons in the hands of a skilled companion. Welders can use a quarter staffs. All these are for like monks, I think. What's a war bow? Um speed average, so it's not fast. It doesn't. <clears throat> Dagger, mace, sword, sword, buckler, small shield. That's all the leather we gave them. Minor ring of deflection. How much is that? Oh my god, way too much money. Earning belt, cape of withdrawal, cape. Um. Why do we need a pry bar? Effective for prying open certain types of containers, but not especially useful on doors due to the uneven and narrow distribution of its leverage. Do I need one? I better take it. How about, oh, rope and grappling hook, yes. Can be used to anchor a rope to locations that may be hard to reach by foot. Yes, there's that wall that we couldn't get up. That's 113. Mm. Yeah, we're going to take that one too. And then camping supplies. We'll take one. Okay. And trade. Alrighty. Alright. So now we're prepared to go down into that place and also... Um, and also the wall and bell. And I'm going to go ahead and close down this episode. And it looks like we're like over an hour. <laughs> yeah, we are, of course. So um, when we come back, I'm going to, I want to try to find that elderly man, the elder, and see if I can find him. And then we'll talk to him before we go down into the cellar. If you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Sahara out.